Imagine you found a world beneath the ground known as Hollow Earth, surrounded by ancient dinosaurs, toxic parasites, and explorers not willing to share their discoveries. Will I survive with just one life? Well, in the next few days, that'll be put to the test, starting from day one, above an underground cabin that each team spawned around. I began to chop some trees down, made some tools, and even found myself a cave. Oh, no, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Despite the cave collapsing on us like some soft tacos, it led to nowhere, which got us finding cave number two. We got some coal, and that's when our journey down to the underground cabin ran into our first breath. Help me. Help me. What will happen Help. I'm falling off of a waterfall. Oh. Oh my god, dude, this is such a rough start. <laughs> Embarrassing moment aside, we eventually caught to a lava pool. I don't have a water bucket to make myself feel safer or another person to do all the dangerous work. Never mind, you can go first. <laughs> no buddy. No buddy no, for my, you. It's a sap. Which had more in store for us than we first initially thought. What's this? Oh, this is the room. The room was quite small, but oh. it contained a chest with a book, paper, and some stone tablets. Exactly the stuff we needed to locate our first underground discovery. Okay. It's hieroglyphics. This is uh, advanced Minecraft civilization scripture. All right, I got this book. Wait, this actually looks sick. Cave compendium. Hidden beneath the surface of the overworld lies many unique cave biomes. Of these biomes five are known to exist this page right here taught us how to make the thing we needed to locate the cave okay we use the spelunkery table we put in one of the cave tablets and a piece of paper and then activate the only way we can get a map that'll lead us to our first discovery is by deciphering some ancient text which my four years of taking arabic in high school wasn't gonna be much use on and the o is like a curse of seven. Oh, upside down l curse of seven yeah try that one try that one there hey okay just put out that fire oh <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> well, that's a big word. The very beginning of the second row. Uh, oh. See that one. Hey, yeah. okay. Yeah. I think we gotta do one more. Oh, wait, we have E and we have R. That's good. Four dots and an L. Oh, yeah. is it this one? Is this one? Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> the cave codex. Okay, so I remember this because in this book, yeah, this and paper, which was used to make our first map. It took us on quite the journey. Here. <gasps> it worked, it worked, it worked. Wait, we're on it. <laughs> We're right on top of the magnetic caves. But at last, we found discovery Wait, number dude. one, the magnetic caves, which is home to many powerful mechanical and magnetic creatures. And just when I got excited, it led to a fatal mistake. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh, shoot. Oh, what's that noise? Hello? Taco? Oh, no. What are they doing? It's like scanning. What the heck? What the heck? What is going on? Why are there clones of me? Hello? Running for my life, I flee to this house, finding another player by the name of Dirk. Well, stay out of here. Go, go, man. What the heck? Fuck off. I'm actually stuck. I can't move. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on here? What are these things? Oh no. Oh, I'm almost dead. I got yeah, some bad news, do. Taco. Uh, help, help, uh, bro, help, go. please. Go. Let me in. I can't fit. Revive me. Well, who are How's you? It? I swear I'm friendly. I'm going to revive you. Okay, hurry, I hurry. have never, never had a friend. How do I do this? And with this help, we were able to rescue Taco as well. <laughs> get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Dude. <laughs> they don't like us in here. Okay. Who is this guy? I don't know. You, I just you, met him. Why are you in my house? Why are you yeah, down here? Watch out. My friend Jimmy's he's, he's a vicious guy. This You're friends with a torch. Friend. No, well, don't you fear days. because my friend over here, yeah, he's friends with house. saplings. No, oh, man. Don't listen to this Maybe man. We have a nice little house over here. You got some stuff that I can, can buy. Why do oh, you have brick? What, what have you been Look, doing those, down here? I mean, wait, is it just you or do you have more teammates? Don't say it. There was a bit of a lunatic going on about his friend, which is literally a redstone torch. Have you explored? any of the cave like what are those things out there kind of like chase it was like, so creepy i experienced all of it are they still out they're just camping us you know how to deal with them realizing how hostile this place was i made some armor keep an eye on the door real quick over there got it can i kill him <laughs> he is a lunatic what is going on he opened the door close it dude what are you doing but just as we let our guards down um, um, oh, oh god oh god <laughs> they're in they're in they're in help some of the pharaoh slimes ambushed us in our own face. I'm alive. Are you guys good? No. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're camping. Okay, you can break the crafting table. You can reach through. Ow, ow, ow. They could hit me through it. Got an idea. I, I have 30 seconds left. Get down. Okay. Oh. I click. Okay, it's working. It's working. Come on, come on. Yes. Let me res him. Fuck 
can't get down there. They keep pushing. After that dilemma, we began to set up safety measures, and I used some of the stuff I have to research this place we were at, though it didn't really help us out that much. I did discover this one thing, this thing called Galena's Gauntlet. I had no clue what it did, all I knew was that I just wanted it. That way, no player or mob would be able to get in my way. And using a back door, our adventure began. Whoa, sick. Wait, wait, I'm being pulled, I'm being pulled! Yeah, I th wait, it might be the iron armor. Remember we were talking about iron armor before? Yeah. Like iron. So Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, oh, no, oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Why am I need some help? Help me. <laughs> okay. What the, what the hell? We discovered that blue magnets repel and that red magnets attract, making it super annoying to traverse this place with mere iron armor. But what choice did we really have? We were as broke as a high schooler in an Asian household. Yep, you're yep, right. Take, take off the armor. Oh. And with that, I began to take greater and greater risks, getting to know exactly how the wildlife here operated, and slowly expanded the area that we explored. Get back up! Get back in! Oh. oh! He's fighting it. Are you serious? Why do we have to find him as the other teammate of ours? Nope, 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 nope. nope. Was it a scanner? Oh uh, yeah, it was scanning me. Okay, I think they're one shot scanners. Yeah, they're one shots. And if things couldn't get any worse, this happened. I hear something. Wait, I see it. Oh my god, wait, wait, don't go near that thing. I just realized it's It'll pull it's it, carried. it'll pull it. Yeah, it's, it's a big <laughs> magnet. It's carried a big magnet. Oh my god. Come on, die. Oh, I got it. I killed it. After some magnet massacres, we had enough resources to craft the Galena Gauntlet. Oh, it's literally called Galena's Gauntlet. Testing it let us repel any weapon out of our hands as long as it had iron in it. <laughs> <laughs> we all ended up making these gauntlets after seeing its power. It reminded me of Gmod's gravity gun in a way. I'm ready this time. Come at me, ugly. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. That's not good. Yeah. Hey, yo. Okay. This is effective. You know what to do. Yeah. That's so cool. I see this one. We're ready for you this time. The splitting. Get back to her. We're too close. Oh, hell nah. What's that thing? I know. Two can play at that. Idiot. Why me? How do you use this Why thing? Me? Ah. Look out. Look out. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in. Right. Get back in. Don't worry. I'm good. There's two. They're getting in. Oh, they went up. There's three of them. I'm not scared of no magnets. Okay, maybe I am. Okay. Go one. Go one. Just oh, up. there's another one. But as we were enjoying our time here, Derp was out there fighting off some powerful forces. In search for him, we got jumped by all sorts of magnetic creatures. I Pro probably want to go around this way, don't we? I saw, I saw him over here. Derp, where'd you go, hey. bruh? Oh my god. The most deadly of them was this guy, Magnetron. He was a magnet that attracts magnetic blocks to build himself to be this colossal golem. And to make matters worse, there were two of them, not just one. This was gonna take everything that we had ow oh no oh. and this fatal mistake of mine left me down here with the two magnetrons waiting for someone to pick me up derp, derp, derp. you gotta help me derp i'm right behind you help me Are you okay no careful careful they're right behind you observe me we're down here Taco? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is it? Why is it chasing me? But we managed to kill them off. You got it. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I got this from a though. Can I see that? Part of our yet. Whoa. Okay. We can make a resistor shield. Which was the next thing I was gonna try crafting. Oh my gosh. Even if the odds weren't in our favor. And that's what I did. Think I have enough stuff for it now? Yeah, the resistor. Look at that. Oh, okay. You look like a Ghostbuster with that thing on your back. Whoa. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. What's it doing? Stop trying to kill me with it. You're murdering us. I think... Ah! I mean, I know it's just hurting me. That's what No, it's just a lot of pain. <laughs> All right, I think we've explored plenty of this cave. I think it's about time we bounce. It's been fun having and missing you guys. I hope I meet up with you again. We're gonna leave? I mean, no, hey, bro, it's, it's your choice, but I'm not trying to stay in this cave. We're gonna kill people. We're Murderers. Magnet? Just tell me. All right, let's move. I didn't mean, hurt you. Oh, come on. I just left. I'm going back in. With us being done with this cave, we were in search for the evacuation ship that would take us to that next discovery of ours. There's around five discoveries in total, and each one harder than the last. We couldn't wait to check these out. Are you ready though. to get out of this cave once and for all? Yes. All yeah, right. get out of here. And with the click of a button, we were at our second discovery. Primordial Caves, which was a vibrant and expansive cave populated with numerous prehistoric creatures, such as dinosaurs and
and a little some I like to call prehistoric scorpions. Looking around, unsuspecting it to be any more dangerous than the suffering we went through in the magnetic caves, we let our egos get the better of us. Me and Taco decided to go solo. He had other plans with a team of eight here. Well, I didn't have a planned team, so I kept wandering around in search for some. When I realized I wasn't alone here. Grab this. Doing Yo, I got chased by a player. Yo, I saw that big item on your inventory. Yeah. I like can, I, can I have that? Hey, no, hey, bro. It's my item, hey, bro. You, you can stop running and give me that thing. Can I have hey, that? stand back. Like, stand back, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. And my fight or flight, for some reason, had me running straight towards a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So with everything, including my life on the line, I charged forward. Where do I go? Right there. Right there. Yep, look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, 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 please. I'm friendly. I'm out. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rest you. Oh. Oh my god, where did he go? <laughs> no! Plan of mine got both me and the guy chasing me to get bitten and taken down by the T-Rex. Somehow there was a third player in the area named Okram, which decided to swoop in and save us. And the recording, to be fair, could have been a short video without him. Dude, we have to take it out. Honestly, uh, I'm just gonna give up on chasing you, oh, man. It's after me! <laughs> Oh, go oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does he heal? Wait, where? Where do we go? We're gonna go I don't know. Oh, away from that thing. Oh. There's another one? Oh my god. Oh. Leave me alone. Oh. Yo, yo. Dude, it's dude, dude, for dude. you, bro. Where's, Where's your camp? camp? I'm filming. Okay. Calm down. Oh. Oh I don't know who your little friend is, bro, but it's wraps for him. Dude, who is he after? He's after me. Pick up Ninza. Dude. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Okay. Okay, okay, I know you don't like me, and that's okay. You can talk about this. Is this your camp? Come on. Okay. Fell down. Oh. Ain't no way, boy. Welcome to my little camp. Inza, are you good? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. The heck? This Sorry is my little home right here. Nice place. Oh. Sound like that, but hey. Ignore the thumbs. Uh, do you know where the <laughs> evacuation pod is? Evacuation pod? Yes. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I've been out here living, stalking on these on these fools over here, bro. You see them? They're ignorant. They're blind. They don't even see me, and I'm right outside their door. Are you talking about the dinosaurs? No, no, no. Where's the dinosaur at? Screw... <laughs> Oh no! Screw those times. Okay. Oh, do you see that wall over there? Yeah. Full of like... ignoramus people. Their go. ignorance. Apparently, Okram was a cave dweller who brought us back to his cave to escape the T-Rex's wrath and discussed his plans to eradicate the great city of the Jurassic. We were asked by Okram to rob from. I'll get 80%, you get 20%. 20 is a villa. What about 40? 40, 60. Whoa, whoa, bro. I just saved you and you're gonna treat me with this disrespect right here, bro? How hey, about be this? Be careful. You standing 70, on business, 30. man. Man, let's check on it. Like, Got it. Oh yes. yeah. Let me get a little nap real quick. No, no, bro. We Why you up. on me? Why you on me? <laughs> I was caught lacking the other day, bro. I tried going in there. Uh -huh. yeah, I tried stealing, but they caught me red-handed, bro. I'm banned out of that area. We have to be sneaky with it. Come on now. Wait, but before we go, though, help me clean up the place, bro. You guys kind of made a mess. Don't make me hit you with the steak, bro. <laughs> you see, Aiden's sí, a good example. Right with our newfound team of three, me, Ninzai, and Okram faced off against the T-Rex and knocked us down to see if we had what it takes. Because if we can't kill a T-Rex, how could we take over a great nation? Who knows what kind of stuff they have hidden behind those walls? His plan was simple. Using shovels, we dig underneath the ground while staying quiet. I don't even know why we're helping this guy. Yeah, he's not even giving us a good reason. I mean, I'm still kind of worried. I mean, I kind of believe him with them being... Because they have huge walls dude you know what i mean like kind of I mean, that takes a lot of effort it does yeah. and like coordination with your team i'm kind of worried about this like huge nation i think we should stick to the tunnels just just be wary about this kid okay and dig into this city of theirs big head small brain bro i don't know how it works for you you're on the left. You see that? This wasn't the city I that we know, expected. Man. It was more like a little village, but there were people who lived there and were online at the moment. But we had to make sure that we were not spotted at all. No. They were keeping an eye on any intruders, us included. I saw Okram and Ninzai booked it to the house. So when the coast was clear, I did too. My chance, that's my chance. Let me in. Down here, down here, down here. Where are you guys? Down here. Okay. Okay. Covered up. <laughs> 
do don't that. Don't do that. It's not me. Did that. I'm not doing that. Who did that then? Not me. Bro, you didn't say his loud mouth. No, bro. bro. Dude, what? Dude, it's getting close. Whatever it is. Bro, what are you doing? Nothing. Shut up. Hang on. And with us underestimating them, we decided to sneak around to see what was really going on. Ninzai got caught. Seeing as Evie, the girl that was the village's leader, wasn't too happy about it. Hey, it's only just me. Just me. It's just me. What's going on? I I, I just found this place and I'm I'm lost, you know. I'm just Yeah, I like like I was being chased by a T Rex. Is there anyone there? Oh, she was on see. to us. Let's see. I don't see anything from here. I, I didn't though. I, I have no idea what's going on here. Go in. Okay. Uh, see, there's nothing here. There's nothing that didn't last for very long. As this ended up happening. Oh, um, he said it was, huh? Um, Who are you, man? I've never seen you in my life ever. <laughs> I'm looking for the evacuation pod. That's what I'm doing. You know, it kind of looks like an evacuation pod. Hey. Is that, I, th I think we should just tell her, bro. With the truth uh -huh. being told, we what? snap. All right, so we were forced by some guy to get in here, and we just dug a hole underground, and then we just found ourselves in here, and then I took the stuff, but he wanted 70 30, so I give him all the stuff, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know why I'm here for. So, yeah, what is Yeah, and he goes oh, by I'm the name Okram. that creepy guy, huh? Yeah. yeah he, like, he was yeah. calling you, like, bad at the game, and, like, huh? he could beat you in a fight, and, oh, like, so all that like sort of stuff. Right so now, now that I think about it, that's kind of like. Yeah, I was forced us. to cook, and he was forced to sweep the floor. Oh my god, don't remind me. Okram was this cave dwelling creep who was literally spying on a population of two girls. And his whole big plan was to tunnel into where they lived and rob them. Yeah. It didn't seem to me like he was someone I'd even want to help in the first place. The only thing we owed him was the debt for picking us up. I was being treated like the abuelita of the house, bro. I was cooking for him. <laughs> okay. I will. So you guys want to get out of here, right? So do me and my friend. That one up there. Forging a team between the four of us. Now all that's left is finding Okram. Okram, where'd you go, buddy? Buddy, old pal. You got the loot. Okram, where are you? Wait, we know where his camp is. Oh yeah, he might be like at his campsite. Oh yeah, he's uh, been it's spying like over on you guys. Oh, it's like over like day, there. Day in, day Wait, out. He's been, I've seen him like. He's been spying on you. Yeah. He's Wait oh. a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, don't don't turn your heads use f5 but he's right behind you on that little like on those blocks yeah oh yeah and act yeah, like yeah. i'm doing something hey this one's special you should just chase him at this point honestly yeah oh Pretty yep well. yep let's move hey, hey stop 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 the violence stop the violence hey 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 we can be friends i know you saved me i don't want to do this man oh Look who we got <laughs> over here. <laughs> uh oh. I'll res you, but you gotta raise it to 100% profits. To us. To me. Or we could leave you here to with the dinosaurs. There's a T Rex outside of the walls right now. Ooh, okay. Wait, he's running away. He's running away. Where'd he go? Yeah, bro, we just booked it, actually. I mean, we don't really need him. Oh, he's right there. Oh my god, he's gonna blow up. Yo. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Bro, Dude. come on. Listen, listen. We're here to team, bro. Teaming with them. Oh, it was we were. We were. Listen. We're going to try escaping. You could come with us. I can't really hear I him. I can't hear him. Hold on. Bro has ears for decoration, bro. Decoration. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not listening. Oh, my God. Okay, just, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Help. 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 <laughs> like those things up there? <laughs> Where is this boy? Listen, Okram, bro. Let's just escape together. Aren't you trying to find the evac station too? Uh oh. Bro, wake up. <laughs> <coughs> and with a really long yapping session, we ended up being a team of five. Before anything, Evie asked us if we could help her and Vex accomplish their goal here, which was to get a hold of the glowy things on top of the ceiling. Okram decided to handle this task alone to win both the trust of us and the two girls he'd been antagonizing all this time. And with the glowy thing and me making them a few of the gauntlets with the remaining loot that I had and some of the stuff they did, we set foot on our adventure as confident as a New York City pigeon beefing with grown adults. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this confidence led us to hunting down the apex predator themselves, T-Rexes, for fun. That's when we encountered a structure filled with tablets and spears. And upon further inspection, we realized there were items here that could tame a dinosaur. A salad to be in specific. So we began to gather these items, but the one thing we couldn't find were these things called fiddleheads. What the hell is a fiddlehead? During our search, we found a pond and a pterodactyl nest, but at last we made 
made the salads, then located some T-Rex and began to attempt taming them. The method was very simple. Bonk them in the head with a club, putting them in a confused state, and feed it with salad till we make them ours. I got it. No, I did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gotta stun him. Dude. I guess hitbox. It did not work. I ran out of salad. I'm running out of salad too. Dude, it ate all of my salads. Bro, there's another T-Rex? Oh my god. And at last, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex in our hands. He felt powerful. After this accomplishment, we discovered the evacuation ship. Oh, he's over here. I don't want to pick him up. Can you pick him up? Oh, this is it. This is it. This is the thing we need. Wait, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Wait, Having to leave our big leg, big headed, small hand T Rex back here. All right, everyone, say goodbye to your dinosaurs. We're not gonna be seeing them no more. Oh my god. Aww. Yeah. It's a really goodbye. We've been together for five minutes, dinosaurs. Come on. <laughs> oh. Bye. It was so greedy. Like, oh my god. Everyone take a seat. And with the click of a button, we were at our third discovery, the Toxic Caves, which is a dangerous dark cave filled with acid and apocalyptic radioactive monsters. With us getting our footing, we realized this time we started out in our ship with a few more items than we did last time. With us dripped out and ready to see what's up, we explored. Right off of the bat, there was a creature. Oh my god. No, oh, what is it? What is, like what is it? I don't um Ew. What the hell? It oh, so it has like a nuclear sign on it that's their brains hanging out it was disgusting oh my god I got <laughs> oh my I got god how <laughs> what is this effect it's, it's called like irradiated what the hell why is it turning green oh nah dude that hey, if, you, if you have arachnophobia you're it's over for you man the ooh that's when we found a structure not too far away yo wait 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 there's nuke can we blow them up wait, wait that might sick. blow up if you break it oh yeah i'm risking it oh they're ways ew <gasps> i found stuff look at the cat I have tuna, which was also home to a cute little ghost cat. This tuna fish thing. Oh, so cool. You want? I don't want this. Okay. But I want to keep like a cat, bro. It? But it didn't last for too long. Hey, the cat's dead. Let's move on. The cat's dead. Totally the didn't bonk it to death. No. Nope. Oh, mm -mm. You guys mind holding out torches? I'm using shaders, and I can't see that well in this biome. You're like my dad asking me to hold a flashlight when I was like six, bro. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. Oh, Yo. God. That is not. <laughs> okay. There are drops. Uranium? Huh? That Whoa. should be your goal. We should like cause a nuclear fallout. A ray gun. Yes, we're making it. We're making a ray gun. We're making a ray gun. Okay. Wait, can we swim on this or not? Nah? You know what? I'm gonna test the theory. Just look at this. An ocean filled with acid. One wrong move and the infection will seep into our suits, immobilizing us and turning into acidic waste. Oh, I feel pretty comfortable here. Oh, you can swim on this. I found what we Why are you swimming in it? Look at this place. I'm not regening. Oh no, don't tell me it's that. The effect doesn't let you just like heal at all. Hey, get up, you guys. Iron, yes, dude. I'm about oh, to I take can... some of this talk. Yeah, a bucket of acid. I think we should. Hey, what oh, the oh, heck? Oh, 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 my God. Yo, yo, swim up, swim up, swim up, swim up. Ignoring the murder attempt by my own teammates, we also found ourselves to other structures. That's when we got ambushed by some more brainiacs, which was the creature we met when we first came here. And behind all of them was a creeper that didn't look like the ones we were used to. Christ, wait, would that have been like a nuke? Uh, hey, crisis adverted. Oh, my God. God. Defeat a nuke creeper. Yeah. Oh my god, that was a nuke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we just casually stopped the nuke from going off. Hey, hey, hey we're how are we feeling? The goal here was to get ourselves some fizzle cores. That way we can make the ray gun and blast our opponents away with just one touch. Evie at this point ended up getting a pet of her own. Sad about the fact that she couldn't tame the ghost cat from earlier, she took one of the fish swimming in the acid. She named it Three-Eyed Harry. That's also when Vex got back from exploring a bit on her own and had some of the fizzle cores we needed, giving us the stuff we needed to make the ray guns we were fiending for. If you don't have a problem, you do. I had one last thing I needed to get from this place, and it'd be something that'd help us, but for now, all we could do is prepare which could change the tides of an entire conflict. We all sipped some of the fumes coming from the ground. I don't endorse this. I don't even know why we were doing it. But close to where we were, there was another evacuation ship. And with the click of a button, we were at discovery number four, the Forlorn Hollow.
Hollows, an extremely dark biome that's home to creatures that look for sacrifices to offer to their gods, these sacrifices often being human. The place that the ship landed us was in the middle of the air, though. Unfortunate. Okay, well, that's a straight drop. Wait, 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 don't, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Causing Evie to be hit by a wombat onto the ground below. Oh my god! We yeah, have ray guns, we have ray guns. Oh god. Health, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, again, again, again. You, you've got to be joking. Inside jumped down after her to save her, while me and Vex joined in after spraying the giant wombats with uranium blasters. Not too far in, we found something that looked kind of culty. I don't know what that thing is, but it burrows. It's just gone. Whoa, what are these? What the? It's just straight up fire. Dude, these ores have eyeballs in them and even found these weird ores that were blinking at us but at last we found a structure in this horrible place leave me alone leave me alone, leave me alone. Ooh, that's where you get it from Dude, this is really good moth where in the world did we get moth dust from? if you couldn't tell by now this place was terrifying we were being chased around by all these birds and kept hearing weird screeches so i knew i had to somehow get out of this place fast but i also wanted to take the time to thank y'all for 330 thousand subscribers subscribers that is go bruh we're on our way to half a million and it's just it's crazy yo if you haven't already hit that subscribe button or i'll be really sad back to fearing for my life not too far from there there was a meeting room where i told the whole team to meet at once we were done looting and crafting the stuff we needed to get from here now we got a little cult table since i ended up making some fire armor for us Ooh, okay i put this on also i don't know what this is oh Pick one of the drops. So, Yo. uh, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna put mine on. Jesus, Yo, I got four eyes. That's all I got. I couldn't craft like sets for everyone. Which made us look like cultists ourselves. Ooh, so we're cultists now. Just like my mother said. Anyway, what? Huh? All right, listen. Okay, we've gone this far. We got one more after this, and that's it. That's all the biomes. Yeah. So, how you guys feeling? I want to cry. The thing we didn't realize though is this eye above our experience bar gave us the ability of flight, letting us fly across the skies for a few seconds at a time this power was overpowered alongside that i gave ninzai a shadow apple to eat because i didn't really know what it did and it doesn't look very tasty after all the wombats cultist moles and cult moths jumping us non-stop we didn't really see a point to overstaying our welcome this place had cool loot in it but we kept getting to near death situations and it made us so fed up that we decided to use the stuff we got back at the toxic caves in here all right y'all i'm gonna be honest i'm kind of sick and tired of this this place you guys want to nuke yeah. it yes all right i this thing might have a big radius so it's a risk i'm willing to take honestly okay this is the way out see that way so just run over there ow i yeah i'm i'm set i think i don't even know if redstone's gonna like work i'm just kind of hoping for the best i don't really need this anymore Evie, you might want to come back up here you guys gonna miss this place? Nah. I think this is the worst place we've been in so far. It's just annoying. Not actually, though. All right, I'm gonna press it. Three, two, one. It worked. It worked. It worked. Oh, I see. Oh, we are. Look at that cultist right next to it. Blowing this place into smithereens. After we followed Vex back to the evacuation ship. Ooh, get in, get in, get in, get in. Don't get block in. it. Oh. Don't block it. <laughs> you need. My god. Vex is oh, no. down Vex. Oh. Get up, Vex. Once again. Oh. Alright, close it. I rest you like four times. <laughs> oh. And with the click of a button, we were at our fifth discovery. The Abyssal Chasms. An underwater biome found underneath the surface oceans filled with two worms and creepy deep sea creatures. The scariest thing here was a hull breaker, which I was trying to avoid at all costs. For this trip, we were given scuba gear and some submarines, which was used to go that far down without dealing with water pressure. Yo, do I fit in here? How are you down there? Oh, whoa. Beautiful, wasn't it? Just look at this place. And the further we went down, the more we realized it truly did go to the bottom of the ocean. What the hell was that noise? What is that? Yo, crazy. What the hell? The hell is that thing? Nah, bruh. Dude, what are these things? Hello. After a bit of exploration, we ended up finding this underwater facility. Whoa. Is this another submarine? Yeah, same controls too. I'm pretty sure this one goes deeper. Flopping around. Three, I'm going down. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. I'm going to try and see how deep I can go, honestly. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, uh, 
<laughs> what? There's, there, there's bombs there. I thought they were like. I ended up finding a jellyfish. Oh god, I'm following it. Okay, maybe not. There's one right here. Ew! It's hostile. It's hostile. Yo, I'm gonna need some help. Which unleashed the forces of the whole dang ocean against me. Yo, I'm getting attacked. You know what? You know what? Ray gun time. With us being all separated and our submarines cracking alongside losing stability, we ended up swimming into this weird underwater base. Yeah, I'm going to be real. This place is terrifying. You don't want to go back out there? I feel like I can live the rest of my life down here, honestly, on this little small glass container. They keep getting worse. Why don't we just stay here? I'm never This place was not made for human life to survive in, and that was very, very clear. After a bit of resting, we found the last evacuation ship and realized this one had statistics on it. It had the buttons that would take us to old discoveries of ours and updates on how many people were at said discoveries. So seeing as Discovery 2 had the most people in it, we went to check it out. Oh, wait, I remember these noises. Oh, no, don't, don't tell me. <laughs> I remember it. Oh, my God. I'm actually having PTSD from this stupid area. It is. I'm oh, gonna my God. Go back. Take me back. <laughs> Please. I don't want to go back there. Wait, but why are there so many people? But not before long, we realized we were not alone here. Uh, Yo, I'm, hello? I mean, we should be fine. We have ray guns. Whoa. We do have ray guns. Um, Yo, yeah, put your hands up, up, buddy. Yo, I have a gun. I have a gun. Mm. Hey, what are you doing? Get over here. You just chilling here? This is my home. Your home? This is your home? I live over there. Oh, over there? Not... What? I just I saw this. I came up here and you guys were here. Did you see any other people? No, just just monsters. They're already after us. Yeah. Wait, why are you guys at my house? This, what? Sorry, we just got not. here, right? <laughs> Remember that base we were at before? Well, it turns out it wasn't even Eevee's either. It was owned by a huge team that wasn't online at the very start. And apparently there's a war going on over there. The victims of this war included Derp, the friend we made back in the magnetic caves, and Okram, the weirdo caveman. So with that information, Information, we entered the war ourselves as players from all five discoveries headed to the primordial cave with that guy escaping we moved forward what the hell are these things what nah you're dying you're dying kid get him, get you're him, dying get him, get him. you're done kid oh they're actually hitting so hard can we even kill them run away from those yeah good call making like a base i am blocked finding this team making a base in the distance and decided to use the okra method to invade them hey, hey Damn, we can pull an okra make a tunnel <laughs> Spy on them and be weird and creepy. <laughs> In the midst of this mission, I found an old friend that I parted ways from, Taco. Yo, no he was still here and had been helping against this whole world war. We had it peaceful up until now. We're, we're definitely underneath them, by the way. Really just finding mobs rather than players. But that aside, they still killed some of our friends. This led Noski to finding us, which also led us to killing them off. Sorry, man. If any team was going to take the win on these discoveries, it was going to be ours. That's also when we met Noski's leader, Eopoke. With Eopoke being very unuseful to us, we had to put him down. And not too far in, we found a team of three. And one of them approaching us very fast. Where Taco used magnets to kill them off, using a method that almost killed him off before. T-Rexes maul a whole bunch of people, killing of even more of the nation's army. Uh, guys, there's a T-Rex right here. Oh, shit. Oh, behind you! Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, sorry. I guess we're all weird. Not a certified Ooga Booga. That was good. Damn! Thrown into the air, landing face first into a pile of dirt. Was this it for me? Is my dignity lower than the grades last semester? I'm okay, okay. lucky I'm here. I got picked up again thanks to Taco. Right. Oh. Run, 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 run. We're gonna stop. <laughs> no, <not again. laughs> we also found out where that spy was at. He was up there at the top of the cave making a base. I guess he really did live up here. Things got pretty rough in the den we found, filled with velociraptors and these stupid security drones that kept attacking us again and again. Um, there's a lot in here. Oh, this is bad. Why did we go down here? Why did we go down here? <laughs> Oh. Leading um, to almost the whole team getting pleasure. annihilated. Going this could this have been it. I think I'm gone. <laughs> I think I'm actually gone forever, man. On, bruh. Behind you, Agus! Oh, shoot. No, Ninzai! No! Relax, relax, relax. 
Dude, what did I get hit by? Help! That's okay, I got you. It's stuck in the- Never mind, I don't got you much longer. Okay. Alright, just, just step, just step, oh just step. God. I don't even know if we can kill that thing. You guys okay? It just gives you more time. Someone who's going to die. Why are you gonna die? Pretty alright. Well, I've got no food. Hey there. I'm on one heart. I mean, we can always eat Harry if it comes down to it. With us barely escaping, I knew that something had to be done. Something I should have done the moment we came here. We were no match for the wildlife discoveries here. So once again, these discoveries will be lost to time. Using the item I made back in the toxic caves. Someone fall from the sky? <laughs> Alright, go, 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 run! Oh, oh. Anywhere, just run anywhere. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I put an end to the primordial caves once and for all. Oh my god. If you found this style of video enjoyable, let me know in the comments below. Click here to watch more videos just like this one. Peace.